general incompetence, corruption, and waste of scarce resources have combined to make life simply unbearable for the generality of Ghanaians. No group is perhaps harder hit than the young people of this country. The issues that affect the youth of Ghana who dominate our population are many, and in these times of severe economic downturn, they have inevitably been worse off than perhaps any other demographic group in Ghana. This government has bungled the important task of securing the welfare and well-being of our young people through sound policies on education and ensuring the availability of employment opportunities both within the public and private sectors. The government has been so poor in its policy making and delivery in education that at all levels, from basic through secondary right up to tertiary, the students of Ghana are suffering immeasurably. Non-release of funds, poor management of curricula, erratic school calendars, poor industrial relations with teachers, lecturers, and other stakeholders, among others, has created turbulence and conditions that are far from ideal and which threaten the achievement of quality outcomes in our educational system.